SFREP has partnered with Apex to offer Apex Portal, their brand new mobile sketching product that will work on any device. Now you can sketch in the field on a laptop, Android phone or tablet, iPhone or iPad. Apex Portal is now available for SFREP customers using Apex 7 and Appraise It Pro. In this video, we'll get you started and show you how it works. To use Apex Portal, you'll first need to talk with SFREP Sales at 800-523-0872. Customers on the Appraiser Pro Platinum Plan will have the option of Apex 7 and Apex Portal being added to their account at no additional charge. Bronze, Silver, and Gold customers will need to contact SFREP Sales to get a referral link to subscribe to Apex Portal a la carte. Once Apex Portal and Apex 7 have been added to your account, you'll need to download and install Apex 7 onto the computer on which you use Appraise It Pro. To do this, after you're notified by SFREP Sales that your Apex Portal account is ready to use, visit sfrep.com slash downloads from each computer and download and install Apex 7. If you need help with download and setup, call our tech support at 800-644-4051. They'll be happy to help. On your iPad or iPhone, go to portal.apexwin.com using Safari. Once the page loads, tap on the Share button on the bottom of the screen or to the right side of the address bar and select Add to Home Screen. On the next screen, tap the Add button to add an Apex Portal icon to your home screen. This will download the app to your device as what's called a progressive web app, and it will act and operate just like an app you would download from the Apple App Store. On your Android phone or tablet, go to portal.apexwin.com using Google Chrome. Once the page loads, tap on the three-dot menu button on the right side of the address bar and select Add to Home Screen. On the next pop-up, Tap Install to add an Apex Portal icon to your home screen. Similar to iOS, this will download the app to your device and it will run just like an app you would download from the Google Play Store. To start a new sketch, tap on New Record. Here you can enter some information about the subject. Only the address is required. As you begin typing out the address, the app will suggest matching addresses so you don't have to type out every bit of the address. You can optionally enter additional subject information like parcel number, owner, and county. When you're done, click the red OK button at the bottom. Next you'll see the preview screen. Since you've not yet sketched anything, the preview will be blank. Click Open in AVX to begin sketching. This will load the sketching pad. Click the three-line hamburger menu in the upper left corner of the grid area. This will drop down a menu. Tap the first icon to draw the outer walls of the home. Drawing an Apex portal is very similar to drawing in other sketch programs like Apex 7 or SketchIt. Use the number pad and direction arrows at the bottom as you would on a physical keyboard on your desktop or laptop. Press the return button on the far right to drop your pen and type out how long your first wall, the back wall of the house, will be. In this case, it'll be 50 feet. Next, press the direction arrow to the right, then press the return button to lock it in. Next, draw a 30 foot wall going down, return locks it in. Next, 10 feet to the left. And now I need to draw a bay window pop out. I'll do this just like I would in Sketch It or Apex. I'll first go five feet to the left and without hitting return, I'll go five feet down. This will create a 45 degree angled wall. Return locks the wall in. Now I'll go 10 feet to the left, then repeat the five over and five up angle and hit return to lock it all in. The rest of the house will be 20 feet to the left and 30 feet up. You can draw the interior walls in a similar manner using the second icon in the hamburger menu. When you're done drawing an area, make sure you designate and label it by tapping the define menu item and then tap on the area to highlight it. Next, on the right, select your area type, then click apply. We encourage you to play around with the app to figure out all its many features and be sure to check out our in-depth how-to videos and webinars on Apex Portal linked below in the video description. 
Getting the sketch into Appraiser Pro is pretty easy and straightforward. You'll use Apex 7 on your desktop or laptop to transfer your sketch from Apex Portal into Appraiser Pro. From Appraiser Pro, go to the Tools menu and click on Apex. When Apex 7 launches, click on the Sketch Portal menu item and sign in with your username and password. On the first run, you may be prompted to restart Apex. A window will launch showing all of the sketches that you've done in the mobile app. Select the sketch you wish to import into Apex 7, and then click on the Import button in the lower right. Next, you'll be asked if you want to import as a sketch or as a template. For now, I'll select Sketch. The sketch will be pulled into Apex 7 and can be modified or edited like any other Apex sketch. When you're ready, save the sketch and close Apex. The sketch will be transferred into Appraisit Pro and linked to this report. If you reopen Apex from the Tools menu in Appraisit Pro, it will be there in Apex waiting for you to edit it. And that's it. This video is just a primer to get you started with Apex Portal. For more on using Apex 7 and mobile sketching with Apex Portal, check out the videos linked in the description below. And watch for some cool new Apex Portal features coming soon from Apex and SFREP.